Hey boys and girls, Mr. Beard here with the class recap for Wednesday, November 23rd. We began today with our Unit 12 vocabulary quiz. So if you were absent, make sure you come in Monday ready to take that quiz, because you'll need to take it right off the bat on Monday when we come back for break. It is your responsibility to remind me at the beginning of the class. It'll be a zero in the grade book until you take it, so uh, certainly you, you will want to make that up as quick as possible. Next, we had some time to work on our lit circles. Keep an eye on those due dates. We've got page four due next Thursday when we come back from break. And as always, you can check our assignment calendar to see what will be upcoming and what is due. Just a reminder here on our class website, the assignment calendar is here. So for example, you can see on Thursday, page four will be due. So keep an eye on that. We finished class by watching Pose the Telltale Heart. Yesterday we talked quite a bit about Romanticism and Edgar Allan Poe specifically. Today we get a chance to look at one of his works. Many of you have probably read it in middle school. Um, so today was just a really quick recap and refresher on some of the themes of Romanticism and kind of a taste of what's upcoming with Poe and some of our other Romantic writers. While watching the clip, it should have really been clear to you how much paranoia was prevalent throughout this short. The cartoon's artwork and animation style are imbued with this, this sense of a schizophrenic uh, sort of paranoia uh, and illogical lunacy, as well as, more importantly, Poe's narration. His writing evokes this mood of just creepy paranoia, like the walls are closing in on you. So you can really see the strong effect mood can have in a story, which is something you should strive for in your writing. Again, this is a key theme of romanticism. It's not about thinking. The story, if you think about it logically, isn't very realistic or plausible, but the feeling, the mood it evokes is just palpable. That's the effect Poe and other Romantic writers were going for, creating a specific feeling versus creating a logical, coherent story. And that is what we covered today in our shortened Wednesday. Have a great Thanksgiving, and thank you very much for listening.